Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And we have a level ID that was sent in. So let's check this out. It... Have we done this before? I feel like we've done this before. Bomberman and his adoring fans, Bat Swarms 3 by Bolt Grey Wing. Look at that, it has a score of negative 2. I wonder what's going to happen. I am not feeling optimistic about this level already. The longer it takes to load, the less optimistic I am feeling. Is that even possible? I... Okay, well... If this stage is super laggy, I'm just... If it's super laggy, and if it's like the other adoring fans levels where we've seen all this before... I mean, granted, it might have been a long time ago, but if we've seen all this before, I'm just going to end up skipping it. That's how this will go. Again, we're not really going anywhere, so uh, yeah, this would be a good time for you guys to go grab yourselves a snack, grab a drink. Yeah, I know, I just uh, we just kind of started this video, but get yourselves a nice little like midnight snack or something. Um, come back, and maybe the level will be loaded by then. I could do that myself. I am hungry. And, and also, if we're if we end up playing this stage for only like one minute, I, I I'll, I'll I'll show a second stage. I have a second stage that, that's not by Bolt Greywing to show. So don't leave yet. Slide disabled, charge disabled. Oh, we have crash bombs. That's new. Okay, how laggy is this? Oh my gosh. For some reason, I couldn't... I wasn't pressing the right button. What was the goal of all this? To make the most annoying and slow opening screen possible? What happens if you die? If you die here, you don't get your weapon energy refilled. You just kind of become stuck because you have limited crash bombs. This is not good design at all. Having those things up there just for the purpose of making annoying noise is not good at all either. 81. And I lost my crash bombs. 81. That's how many bats we're about to encounter. Now it gets even worse, because if we... Maybe if we die, we get the full crash bombs back? This is a nice challenge. I, I like this. I like that section. See, Dr. Novocaine? The Mets are possible to dodge. Okay, I need you down here. Oh. I don't have slide in this. That's right. Oh, that's obnoxious. No, you're supposed to go down the ladder. Not. Again, I like that challenge. The Bull Grey Wing does have some good ideas in here, but then he just has things that just completely. What the heck is that? You can't put a checkpoint on top of spikes. I'm not even going to try and go through that. That's. We have a key. Fortunately, we can't use it on that gate down there. Uh, 
I'm getting flashbacks to Rigel stage. Although this one with the uh, elevation, we can make these jumps. Oh good, someone doesn't do four tile jumps here. Didn't I tell you, did, didn't I tell you in the last video that the nightmare stage would be four tile jumps with lag? And someone went and made that stage. Although these aren't these aren't truly four tile jumps because we're not on we're not going you know four tiles on the same level. Like if yeah, you, you guys know what I mean. Bull gray wing. Oh no! Here we go! Here we go! Jump! 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 Get me out of here! I better not have to catch that thing, because that's not happening. Uh-oh. I'm blaming lag. Ooh. Why are the lights off? Can I please have, like, a real checkpoint? This is stupid. I want a real checkpoint. There should be a real checkpoint by this point. No, we're about to die here. That was too... Yeah, if I die here because there's no checkpoint, we're stopping. I did just a forewarning. Because I'm not going to redo the stage at this point because there's bad checkpoint. Can I... That's not a bad challenge. Yeah, there's no checkpoint. That's terrible. Well, we do get the crash bombs back, so that does answer that question. Um, yeah, we're. I I said we're not we're not going all through that again. There's the things that are ruining this stage are number one the lag and number two the poor checkpoint. All the challenges you presented besides that first screen were good challenges. I I liked that. I liked all the challenges. I didn't like the fake checkpoints. You can't possibly use those checkpoints. Unless I'm missing something, but I, I don't think I am. Um, but the, the actual challenges of the levels, at least that we experienced, was good. But you need real checkpoints. Uh, and you definitely need a real checkpoint before the, the section where we died. Uh, again, that didn't feel like a bad section or an undoable section. It's just, I, I happened to die. But I was not going to replay the entire stage for that. So... Really tough for me to grade this one. I want to give it a thumbs down, but at the same time, after getting past the first screen, I enjoyed the actual challenges that were presented, so I don't want to give it a thumbs down for that. So I'm I'm going to stay neutral on this one. Uh, you need less lag, though. You have to have less lag. Make a shorter stage. Make, you know, multiple stages. Like, like I made a series of stages. You can do a series of stages. You don't have to have ginormous stages that are just going to take forever to load and cause lag. And you don't have to have... You need to have checkpoints. That's... I, I do still want a thumbs down just for the not having checkpoints. Um, but anyways, I did promise another stage. We have time. Do we have time? I don't know. That stage loading took a while. Uh, yeah, we got time. We got time. So, 297579. Topsy Turney. This is by Rigelt. It has two plays and no, no score yet. And here's the other one that's going to be, you know, the bane of my existence and... You know, if we didn't have four tile laggy jumps in the last stage, why don't we put him in this stage? Hey, we have a uh, normal speed at least, so... Okay, we have a uh, Thunder Beam here. Yeah, well, fine, I won't kill that spray. Do I have Charge Shot? Yes, I have Charge Shot, and I have Slide. 
Oh my gosh, those platforms. I, I never know where exactly they're gonna go. I mean, you can kind of guess, but, uh... It's always an uncertainty. Like this. But it has to go somewhere that's gonna be in range of the next one. That one doesn't have to, that one doesn't have to, that one doesn't have to, that one does. That was a mean trick. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. That was a mean trick. Because there's no real way of knowing where those things are going to go. And so it's just kind of blindly guessing and testing. Then you get to the joy of repeating everything. Because the game decided to be cheap. Like, that wasn't a death based on my lack of skill or lack of platforming it was it was purely just based on like that was good that was good that was good that was not i i didn't like that one there the rest of them were fine because you could kind of even though you were on a limited time scale or, or limited time frame you could still you know kind of piece together okay I don't really need to jump on this one, or I don't need to stay on this one to ride anywhere to get to the next platform. I can just jump on it and jump to the next one. And so that part of the challenge, I'm okay with. It was just it was just that one last platform. Good, we have a checkpoint after that mess. Oh yes! I was hoping to see more enemies on springs. Although, with the stage name being Topsy Turvy, I would have expected more, you know, Top Man. I'd expect a more spring like, uh. Oh, these things can drop. Well, in that case. Why can't I multi hit with that? That, that annoys me. Uh oh. Like, the, the Thunder Wave doesn't multi hit enemies. And it's not really good against these enemies. It might be good against them. Yeah, we'll never know, because he just lost to the uh, gate. Gone into the existence of forever. Like here, we don't need that one. We don't need that one. Don't need that one. Don't need that. 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 Do need that. We don't need that. I guess we did need that last one. Are those, like, weird little smiley faces in that column there? that bouncing ball. I guess it, the the uh, electricity was kind of good for killing the bouncy ball thingy as it was going on the spring. So I, yeah, I like that. But it's not really the greatest against these guys. slow there. No, we're gonna kill him that time. That's what that is why I died, because I'm gonna go back and actually kill that guy. Instead of just letting him get away. Those things. Those in there, you you see them. It looks like a smiley face. It looks like a weird weird like little maybe more like a mustache face. You're seeing that too, right? You better be seeing that. Oh my. Don't wildly slide into rooms. Hey, I got a health restore. Oh, the springs I don't have to do. How come those guys aren't bouncing on the springs? Oh my. Yeah, <laughs> I got spring dodging skills. Uh, but not, you know, enemies stationary right there dodging skills. That's okay, because they give me health. See, this is why I don't like the Thunder Beam. It doesn't multi-hit, and you have to wait until it gets all the way across the screen before you can fire another one. I'm about to lose my Mega Buster. What is wrong with you, Rigelt? Did I lose my other weapon? No, I have my other weapon. 
four tile jumps. This one's not required, though. See, I can make it when I'm not being haunted by fish. Oh, gosh. Oh, whoa! Okay, he does... He does something interesting when you hit him with the Thunder Beam. Unfortunately, this is just going to be a really long battle. Okay, you should have at least made him... You should have definitely made him weak to the Thunder uh, Beam, since that's the only weapon you're going to give us. Because otherwise, this really isn't much of a challenge. It's kind of like a Mega Magnet Man-esque challenge. I, I don't mind the spike there next to the thing. I just mind having to sit here forever and wait for him to finish doing what he's doing. And then he gets to do it again. I... Oh, hi there. I'm gonna do something. Oh. Not that. Just let myself get pulled into it, and there we go. This is a neat feature, but yeah, he needs to take more damage from... from this. Uh, graphical errors much? Yeah, I'm watching my health, too. I've got... I've got an E-Tank. We'll do this battle, because this is... This is just too long of a battle, when you're only dealing one damage every, you know, ten seconds. Technically, I have plenty of Thunder Beam, but what I'm trying to do is time it so time it so I'm hitting it, hitting him like just as the barrier disappears, and I'm just slightly early. This is a neat find, like I said, that uh, Springman has this interaction with the Thunder Beam. I wonder what other interesting uh, interactions the bosses can have with some of the weapons. But yeah, this needs to deal more. Da this ba boss battle should have been over like five minutes ago. Five minutes might be an exaggeration, but you know what they say. Scientifically speaking, the longer people have to wait for something, the more it feels to them, their their perception of how long they've been waiting is gets more and more unrealistic or more and more longer compared to the actual time frame. So basically if I'm waiting in line, it, waiting in line at the grocery store is like the best example of this. Now we're doing this. Is the best example of this. And uh you know, like if you're waiting in line one minute, you know, it feels like you really weren't waiting in line that long. You know, you might report, yeah, I, I waited in line like one minute. But if you waited in line five minutes, you are more likely to come back and say, oh, I waited in line for six or seven minutes before I could get waited on. Or if you wait in line ten minutes, well, now you're saying that in your survey that, oh, yeah, you waited like 15 minutes to being waited on. Yeah. So that's entirely what's happening here. I want to hit him before he does his thing again. So yeah, make the damage output more, because that... The battle itself was decent. The damage output... Of, of Thunder Beam on that was just... No, that was way too long of a boss battle uh, for what it was. 
Uh, the only other thing I disliked about the stage was that one spot at the beginning, which I ranted about already, so I'm not going to harp on that again. Otherwise, I had a good time. So yeah, fix fix that fix that boss battle though. That was too long of a that, that was too long of a wait. I appreciate the fine though. Alright, that's all for me for now, and I'll see you guys next time.